We'll go over with you one of the tools we use um, for suspension development, which is data acquisition. So basically, data acquisition is just something we can use to go out and ride the bike and quantitatively figure out what's going on. You know, obviously we do a lot of field testing where we have riders go out, ride the bike, compare different shocks, and write down what they're feeling. You know, in terms of you know, I really like how supple the shock feels. And, you know, when I go through this rock garden, it, it feels very harsh. You know, that's a quantitative thing, but in order to really take that quantitative analysis and turn it into changes to the suspension, we need to truly understand what's going on, so we use data acquisition for that. So what I have here is, it's called a, uh, a shock clock data acquisition unit. It's made by a company called Racetech. It's a data recorder up front, and it's a transdu transducer in back, and the transducer is, um, it works on essentially sound waves. And so up here at this metal head is essentially a speaker. And if I were to turn this on and you put your ear up to the end here, you can actually hear it buzzing. It creates a, a vibration. And as you compress the system, this tube shortens and lengthens. And the sound wave is altered based on the length of that tube. And uh, this the system is able to to calculate what the displacement change is based on how that, how that sound wave is changing. Um, so it records at 250 cycles per second, which is funny fast for figuring out what's going on in, on the trail. And it's only recording one, one channel of information, which is displacement. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's basically just a very robust system and um, it provides data on you know, are we getting full travel on the trail? How fast is the shock moving? Um, those are really the two key things. Uh, and the reason we want to know that information is when we go back into the dyno room and we want to emulate what's happening on the trail, you know, how fast do we run that dyno? Do we run it 10 inches per second or 80 inches per second? You know, when you go off a drop, how fast is that shock moving? Um, so it basically gives us that feedback to understand how the, how the suspension is working so we can emulate it and develop suspension. I'm going to do a spring rate test on it. So I'm going to show you the spring curve exactly as you compress it, how much, how much force the uh, shock is providing. <coughs> I was wondering what the speed of the thing would be for testing this. Yeah, but this is... Uh, it's slow. doing a seal drag test right there. Um, and then this is the actual spring rate test. Not a whole lot special for that test. Right now it's doing a uh, gas test, which uh, just kind of can help you eliminate help you single out the damper's performance even more. Um, it it kind of takes out the pressure effects of the damper increasing the pressure as it's compressed. So this is running five inches per second. Pretty low speed performance, pedaling performance and stuff. This is 10 inches per second. And it'll, it'll go all the way up to 70 in this test. Or 100 at the end.